You all remember this dude, don't you? He went to a protest armed with an AK-47. And I have no problem with that. Although certain people have told me that if you go to a protest armed with an assault rifle, that you must be there to cause trouble. There can only be one reason to carry such a rifle. It's to antagonize, to provoke people into conflict so that you can shoot them. That's what we were told, right? At any rate, he took this AK-47 to a protest and ended up getting shot. Daniel Perry was driving through a crowd. He approached the car. We're not sure what happened, but Daniel Perry shot him dead. Daniel Perry is claiming self-defense, and the trial has not occurred yet. And of course, the hypocrisy is going to be everywhere. Now, I'm not taking sides. I don't know for sure if this was self-defense or not. But whatever the case, Daniel Perry needs money for his legal defense. And I have no problem with people raising it for him. So I was doing this video on Garrett Foster, and I came across a very interesting little tidbit that will hiss you off to no end. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. And here it is. This is a news article from a source called Tribune of the People, a revolutionary news service. Oh boy. Okay. And of course, the headline, Daniel Perry, murderer of Garrett Foster, continues raising money online after GoFundMe pulls fundraiser. Oh, GoFundMe deplatformed him. Gee, uh, who else has been treated like that? Could it be Kyle Rittenhouse? But at any rate, let's skip down because there's an interesting quote by GoFundMe that you will find very provocative. And by provocative, I mean in the very negative sense. Now remember, this is about Daniel Perry, who shot Garrett Foster, because according to him, he perceived Garrett Foster as a threat. And again, we don't know for sure. And no, don't send me to actual Justice Warriors webpage, okay? At any rate, let's read this. By Noah Long, earlier this month, a fundraiser for U.S. Army Sergeant Daniel Perry, the man who murdered anti-racist activist Garrett Foster in Austin in July 2020, was pulled off of the GoFundMe website, deplatformed, for violating its terms of service. Again, very much like Kyle. Aided by the Fox News media monopoly, Perry's defense team has since promoted a fundraiser on another website, Go Get Funding, which has raised over $80,000. Um, did Kyle or Wendy ever try Go Get Funding? I'm not sure. I get them all confused. A spokesperson for GoFundMe told Fox News that after the fundraiser on their site was reviewed, it was found to be in violation of GoFundMe terms of service and subsequently removed. Now, listen up. Listen to this very carefully. GoFundMe prohibits raising money for the legal defense of a violent crime. Now, this is from the spokesperson for GoFundMe. This is a direct quote. Did you hear me? GoFundMe prohibits raising money for the legal defense of a violent crime. Oh, well, shit, that's news to me. Here's Crystal Kaiser, and she has her GoFundMe page. And guess what she's been accused of? Murder. A violent crime. So I kind of scrolled it down. Um, they've only raised 37000 Wow, that's not good. But let's make sure that's working. So I click on Donate Now. And 
this is working. I'll, I'll type in $30. I have donated to her in the past, not much. But I always put this website in my comment section, even though it's starting to look like she's more and more guilty. She is still entitled to adequate legal defense. We shouldn't be scared of that. And put a tip in there. Yeah, that's not going to. I'll hit the continue button. It asked me whether I want to use a credit card or a debit card. Everything indicates that this thing is still working. So, are you mad yet? Like my video, subscribe to my channel. And Kyle, Wendy, when you do sue these people, make note of the fact that they stated that they do not fund legal defenses of violent crimes. They lied.